In this session, let's look at surface area. That means we're going to be looking at the area of the faces of a 3D shape. So let's look at some 3D shapes first of all. We've got cubes, we've got cuboids, and we've got prisms, which are like triangular, a bit like a Toblerone box. I know for a cube, all the sides are the same. So all I'm going to do is find the area of one face. So five by five, which is 25. Now a cube has six faces and they're all exactly the same. So I can just do 25 times six, which is 150. And we're still dealing with area, so our units are centimeters squared. Let's look at a cuboid. It's got some different faces on this one, they're not all the same. So let's divide it into what we know we've got. We've got a front face here, and that is five by nine. I've also got that shape at the back. So it matches, it's a pair. So I've got that shape twice. So if I do five times nine, it's 45. I've got that twice, so I'm going to double it, 90. Now let's look at the top. That is nine by three, but it's also on the bottom. So nine by three is 27, and then I've got it twice. So I'm going to double it, which is 54. And then let's look at the side. That's three by five, but it's also here as well. So we've got another pair. Three by five is 15. Double it is 30. So I've now got 90, 54, and 30. I just need to add those all together. And that's every single face taken into account. So when I add those, I get 174 centimeters squared. Now let's look at a harder one, a triangular prism. So I've got a few different faces here. I've got the triangles that are the same each side. So let's find the area of one of those. The base is five. The height is six. Remember, we don't want the diagonal. We only want the height. So five times six is 30, and half of that is 15. So the area of one of my triangles is 15. But I've got it twice, because I've got it each end. So let's double that. So 30. Now let's leave that for a moment and look at the rectangles. I've got a front face here, that's 12 by 11. So 12 times 11 is 132. I've then got the bottom, which is 12 by five. 12 times five is 60. And I've then got the back, and the back is seven by 12, which if I times those together, I get 84. So I've got 30, 132, 60, and 84. If I total all of those together, the surface area of my shape is 306 meters squared. So to recap, finding the surface area of a shape is finding the area of all its faces and adding them together.